A family is grieving tonight and a teen is charged with murder after a police chase ends with a deadly crash. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight for KPRC 2 News at 6. I'm Bill Barajas. We begin with that deadly crash that landed a teen behind bars. Investigators say it began as a police chase but ended in tragedy at Veterans Memorial and BAMO in Northwest Harris County. KPRC 2's Rowan Belogan is live near the crash site with details on the passengers and surveillance video you'll see only on 2 tonight. Rowan. Now, yeah, Bill, we are at that location where Houston police tell us this fatal crash itself ended. Uh, the victim, a 15 year old Klein ISD student who was in the back seat of the vehicle itself. Now, the surveillance video you're about to see here shows the moments after the crash where two Houston police officers rush out of their unit towards the cr towards the vehicle. Now, the sheriff's office, who is investigating, said the two officers then pulled out the driver and two other teens inside that vehicle. That fourth team is the 15 year old who was stuck in the back. He died of his injuries. Now, police said everything unfolded a few miles from where we are now at Kirkendall and Rankin when officers noticed the Chevy Malibu apparently driving reckless. Officers tried to stop the vehicle, but they say the teen driver refused to stop, leading them in a chase. Three minutes in, it ended when the suspect clipped one vehicle, losing control, then slamming into a pickup truck. At some point during the pursuit, uh, the uh, suspects of the vehicle uh, turned off their headlights in an attempt to elude officers and speeds reached approximately 80 miles per hour. The citizens that were uninvolved in the motor vehicle pursuit that were also involved in this incident, one was transported to an area hospital in stable condition, one remained on the scene. Now, the mother of the 15 year old in this whole thing tells me that she thought her son was in his bedroom asleep when she heard a knock at her door this morning telling her he would passed away. You hear from her tonight at 10 o'clock reporting live in Northwest Houston, Robon Belogan, KPRC 2 News.